Okay, I am going to read Borreguita and the Coyote. This is a tale from Ayutla, Mexico. It is retold by Verna Ardema and illustrated by Petra Mathers. This book has a glossary in the front. Glossaries we know are a text feature that help us. They explain what words mean. This one has the meaning of some words um, in Spanish in this book. So Ayutla is a city in Western Mexico. Borreguita is Spanish for little lamb. Coyote is a small wolf-like animal. Señor is Spanish for mister. Está bien is Spanish for that is good or that's okay. Here we go. Borreguita and the Coyote. On a farm at the foot of a mountain, there once lived a little ewe lamb. Her master called her simply Borreguita, which means little lamb. One day, Borreguita's master tied her to a stake in a field of red clover. The lamb was eating the lush plants when a coyote came along. The coyote growled, Grr, Borreguita, I'm going to eat you. Borreguita bleated, ba ba. Oh, Senor Coyote, I will not fill you up. I am as thin as a bean pod. When I have eaten all this clover, I shall be fat. You may eat me then. Coyote looked at the skinny little lamb in the wide clover field. Está bien, that is good, he said. When you are fat, I shall come back. After many days, the coyote returned. He found the lamb grazing in a meadow. He growled, Grr, Borreguita, you are as plump as a tumbleweed. I'm going to eat you now. Borreguita bleated, ba ba, Senor Coyote, I know something that tastes ever so much better than lamb. What? asked Coyote. Cheese, cried Borreguita. My master keeps a round of cheese on his table. He eats it on his tacos. Cheese? Hmm, the Coyote had never heard of cheese, and he was curious about it. How can I get some of this cheese, he asked. Borreguita said, there is a pond at the end of the pasture. Tonight, when the moon is high, meet me there and I will show you how to get a cheese. Está bien, said Coyote. I will be there. What do you think is going to happen? That night when the full moon was straight up in the sky, Borreguita and Coyote met at the edge of the pond. There glowing in the black water was something that looked like a big round cheese. Do you see it? cried Borreguita. Swim out and get it. Is that cheese? Coyote slipped into the water and paddled toward the cheese. He swam and swam. But the cheese stayed just so far ahead. Finally, he opened his mouth and lunged. Whoosh! The image shattered in the splash. Pond water rushed into Coyote's mouth. Coughing and spluttering, he turned and headed for the shore. When he reached it, the little lamb was gone. Of course she was. She had tricked him. Coyote shook the water off his fur. <laughs> then he looked up at the big cheese in the sky and howled, Ow! At dawn the next day, Borreguita went to gaze near a small overhanging ledge of rock on the side of the mountain. She knew that the coyote would be coming after her, and she had a plan. As the sun rose over the mountain, Borreguita saw the coyote coming. He was sniffing along with his nose on some trail. She crawled under the ledge and lay on her back, bracing her feet against the top. When the coyote found her, he growled, Grr, Borreguita, I see you under there. I'm going to pull you out and eat you. Borreguita bleated, ba ba, Senor Coyote, you can't eat me now. I have to hold up this mountain. If I let it go, it will come tumbling down. The Coyote looked at the mountain. He saw that the lamb was holding it up. You are strong, said Borreguita. Will you hold it up while I go get help? The Coyote did not want the mountain to fall, so he crept under the ledge and put up his feet. Push hard, said Borreguita. Do you have it now? I have it, said Coyota. But her, Coyote, but hurry back. This mountain is heavy. Borreguita rolled out of the shallow cave and went leaping and running all the way to the barnyard. 
Coyote held up that rock until his legs ached and he was hungry and thirsty. At last he said, even if the mountain falls, I'm going to let go. I can't hold it any longer. The coyote dragged himself out and covered his head with his paws. The mountain did not fall. Then he knew the little lamb had fooled him again. Coyote sat on his haunches and howled. Oh! Early the next morning, the coyote hid himself in a thicket in the lamb's pasture. When she drew near, he sprang out with a woof. And he said, Borreguita, you will not escape this time. I'm going to eat you now. Borreguita bleated, Ba, ba, senor coyote, I know I deserve to die, but grant me one kindness. Swallow me whole so that I won't have to suffer the biting and the chewing. Why should I make you comfortable while I eat you? demanded the coyote. Anyway, I couldn't swallow you all in one piece, even if I wanted to. Oh, yes, you could, cried Borreguita. Your mouth is so big, you could swallow a cougar. Open it wide, and I will run and dive right in. Coyote opened his mouth wide and braced his feet. Borreguita backed away. Then she put her head down and charged. Bam! She struck the inside of Coyote's mouth so hard she sent him rolling. Ow, 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 howled the Coyote as he picked himself up and ran away, his mouth feeling like one big toothache. <laughs> From that day on, Borreguita frisked about on the farm at the foot of the mountain. And Coyote never bothered her again. The end. And that is Borreguita and the Coyote.